first chapter. Lesson number two. The basic parameters of your show. To open the basic settings of your show, you have two options, or, in the command bar, select, show. Then, you have four open command of the show option menu. They are, show settings, show background, watermark and soundtrack. Or, in the toolbar, you have two icons, show option and music. These commands open the same window, but, under different tabs. Open this window. In this window, above left, you have three tabs in the box, show options. They are, show settings, watermark and background. Select show settings by clicking on it, one click left. In the show settings your window has five inserts. The show setup, which allows you to rename, or if this is not done, give a name to your show. The menu, aspect ratio for the format of your show, and, and ordered for the transitions. Set random transitions. It allows you to change randomly the transitions between slider show. Below, the show to mail, it allows you to define the image of the icon for your show. Is as follows. Show TV safe zone and previews. If you want to use this function, you must check the box above left, just before the name of the insert. This has the effect of triggering the display of a hatched area around the edges of your show. It will not appear in the rendering of your show, but for a purpose, to show you the location is not displayed by some television. And therefore do not place important element in this area. You can set manually this size and space. Safe area size. The last one left, notes is a notepad, or you can comment on your show. To write, you insert information. You can find the total time of your show, as various other information about it. Now select the tab, Watermark. In this tab, you can add a logo to your show. It will remain visible, and, in the same place throughout the turn, whatever the styles or transitions used. In the editing part, you have five insert. The first, is the previewing your show, and also, the window for handle your logo. Just below, in, position and size, you have the position area for your logo. And the size of it, zoom. Below it, you have the insert, editing tools. You can give your logo a rotation through the scroll menu, rotate. You can also give a mirror effect, vertically, or, horizontally, with checkbooks, horizontal and vertical flip. You also have a special function allows to colorize your logo. We will see this more than before. Above right, there is the insert for preview of your logo, with comments. Find and open a file, browse, removing the logo of your show, remove, and the editing command in an external program, editor. Finally, just below, the insert of picture adjustment settings of your logo. This will be an entire lesson. See how to practice. First, create your logo using an external program, and if it should be transparent parts, save it in a format such as, PSD or PNG, sporting the transparency. Go to the insert, watermark with image and click on browse. One explorer files window opens, choose your file by clicking left, then click open. You will see your original logo in the window, under the name, custom watermark with the name of the file used. And in the preview window, as it will appear in your show. If it remains as it is, we do not see much of our movie. Arrange it. First, give it a reasonable size. We choose 30%. Or, you enter this value directly in the numeric box value zoom, or you move the cursor to this value. You can also click on one of the four yellow dots on the corners your image, hold the click and move your cursor. It will also modify the size of your logo. 
Now, put our logo in the corner. We take, for example, the lower right corner. To do this, click your logo, not on a corner. Hold click and move your logo to the desired location. You can also directly enter your value in the numeric boxes of position. Remember this, the center of the screen corresponds to the coordinates, 0, 0. The left edge, at minus 50, and the right edge, at 50, to the first coordinate, x. The upper edge, at minus 50, and the lower edge at 50 to the second coordinate, y. We opted for a 40 for x, and 33 for y. You can see the result in the preview window. We do not need, in our case, using rotation, or mirror effects, or effects of polarization. So we will not change anything in the editing tools. We're just slightly decrease transparency of our logo. Of origin, it is preset to 50%. This effect can be modified in the insert command, adjustments, under opacity, Move our cursor for 75% or directly enter this value in the numerical box in line with the transparency slider opacity. You can control the final result in the preview window and, where appropriate, adapt to your choice with your own settings. We'll see taps, background, and soundtrack in the next lesson. Thanks for your attention.